In order to understand the basic concept of the next video, you have to understand the idea behind what we call auto correlation. So auto correlation. Well, there are two words in there. So the first word would be auto, and this basically means self and correlation. And by now you should be familiar with what correlation means. So if not, uh, go ahead and check out my video on that topic. So auto correlation basically means self correlation. Um, how can something correlate with itself? Well, that's actually pretty easy. Imagine you're interested in the temperature in a given city. What does that temperature depend on? Well, a lot of factors, I'll give you that. But I would argue that there is a connection between today's temperature and yesterday's temperature. If not, that would be pretty weird, right? Because imagine having 30 degrees Celsius in one day and a freezing minus 10 degrees the day before that. So we, we could model today's temperature as a function of yesterday's temperature. So we could build a model that says, okay, temperature today, so temperature at point T, depends on a constant, a coefficient beta one, and we put in temp, so we put in the same variable, but this time it's not temp t, but temp t minus one, because we're using the temperature of yesterday. And of course we gotta include an error term, so e t. Okay, well, temperature at time t depends on the temperature one time interval before that. So if beta one, so if this coefficient over here, if beta one is uh, actually significant, then we can talk about autocorrelation. Temp t minus one is a so-called lagged variable. So temp t minus one over here, this is a lagged variable. Um, since it is a lagged value of the dependent variable. And, and by the way, if you're working with those kind of variables, you gotta be careful since they could destroy your statistical tests. So always make sure your test statistics wor work with lagged variables. Now, there are many ways in which we could build a auto an autoregressive model. So for example, you could also build a model that looks like this. So we could say, okay, the temperature today, so temp T is equal to a constant a beta coefficient and we put in the um, temperature of yesterday and we put in the temperature before that. So beta two times temperature at, oh, oops, temp t at t minus two. And of course, an error term, okay? So this is now, what we call an autoregressive model of second order. So this is what we call an AR2 model, okay? The AR2 model. AR, this over here, this indicates that we are regressing something on a on la or on one or a or several lagged variables of itself. While the number in the parenthesis states that we are using two bygone points in time in our model. So this says we are only using the variable or the lagged variables of the dependent variable while at the same time using two bygone time intervals. So we are using temp t minus one and temp t uh, minus two. Now, what would be uh, the, the name of this model over here? So this is an AR process as well because we're only using a lagged variable of the dependent variable. And this would be of course an AR one model because it, we're only using one lagged variable and we're using one bygone time period. So this is an AR1 model while this is an AR2 model.